Hello everyone, Face Shark here bringing you a video about Zabava. And uh, hopefully this is the info you need for deciding whether you want to go with her or not. Now, I'm not going to read the skills by like as if, you know, you just read them. I'm going to tell you the stuff you probably want to know. So, you do get 70% base Titan health. Later on you get plus 250% Titan health. So whatever the base is that multiplies that. Now, you get 50% base storm main and damage. And that's that everything that multiplies storm main damage is going to be in multiplying the base. So here we go. At the start of a battle when you're attacking somebody, your titans and storm mains get 800% damage boost. Now, after 1 minute and 10 seconds without yeah without any omega summons and this is also being in the aura and since the aura of the titan only boosts up to 6 storm mains so this will be the maximum damage or this will be the most boosted of a titan and 6 storm mains in her radius can be boost, boosted up to 1,550% Titan and Storm Main damage. Now this is only 6 Storm Mains. They get that much. Now, if there are Omega enemy troops summoned, then that's an extra 3,000, or sorry, 375% damage. So in total, your Titan and 6 Storm Mains can get a thousand nine hundred twenty five percent damage increase. Yeah. So now we go to the aura. The aura skill is every seven seconds. Um, so it can give twenty five percent resist all elements for the Titan and troops. Now the troop is up to six of oh, six stormings. So keep that in mind. In 20 seconds, you can have max all elemental resist for the Titan and 6 Storm Mains in 28 seconds. Now, the Titan does give uh, Titan and Storm Main 176 armor piercing on attack, 150% uh, armor, 44% critical for the Titan and Storm Mains. And in total, after 35 seconds, you can have 5 Corrupted Storm Mains on the field. Now, the Titan does get a 40% Titan range and melee resist. If you throw the Trickster's Blade on, that her, maxes her resist. And with 20 seconds in a battle, she can literally have complete resist to all melee range and all elemental resist. After 20 28 seconds in a battle now she does boost lightning spell damage so at the start of a battle she does 400 percent boost and after 35 seconds it goes up to 650 percent lightning spell damage and then we get to the prestige skill as you know prestige skill does boost the titan base damage so that thousand nine hundred twenty five percent increases whatever the base is so with the base increased by her prestige skill she deals a heck of a lot more damage now we are going to go over her prestige skill does go on on 10 critical and at level 10 100 percent chance to strike four enemies in her aura with lightning bolt and that can happen 10 times so I'm assuming on a Titan Critical, you know, in the beginning, maybe a 35% chance at level 1. Yeah. But it, after, if you're 35 seconds in the battle and that starts happening, yeah, those those lightning bolts are going to be doing a lot of damage. So then we're going to go over the uh, event real quick. There are 6 event tokens in the event. Sagunga is at 14k souls. Zabava is at 22k souls. The whole event 
is 26 quesos in event, 26,000 in total. You do get 625 DGs, which is our Divine Gems, and a total of 4,200 regular gems. So, she's going to be the first of many Titans. First of this unit and everything. So now, that's Zimbabwe's info. And right now, if you want to do... Now, I'm going to do Zimbabwe. And there's a lot you want to go over that could make it either you want to go for the Titan or you don't. So one of the big things is... One of the big things is if you have Stormings and you can have a maximum of 6 with 1,925% damage. Maximum of 6 of them. If you decide to take that and with those pretty much you could just do it solo. If you take that Titan you get five you have to take one troop no matter what then you get five um corrupted storm ants. So those six could be just the solo raid and that's all you need. So she could be a really big solo raider. She'll be doing a lot of damage by herself. That's for sure. One of the things you gotta think of is what counters storm ants. Well you got spearmen, obviously. Then you got Horde can get to Storm Ains very fast. You have uh, Imperials, but Imperials can be dealt with. Um, you have Gren, the Grenadiers, because they have a long range. So getting to them quick enough could just be their downfall. So Ares might still be dominant in that battle set. Um... You have Militia, but Militia are in general not that strong. We don't have any really strong Titans for that. So it, it's going to be Spearmen and Grenadiers are probably going to be your biggest foe. And to set that, you know, you got to think of that when you decide if you want to go for this Titan or not. Because now this is just the first of the Dragon Slayers. So there's probably going to be other Dragon Slayers with Corrupted Units, which is going to be maybe much better than this, you know? But this Zimbabwe is definitely going to be a Hachiman killer. Now, I'm curious to see how this goes. I am going for this Titan because I need a Hachiman killer. I hope this information is useful to use you know between you know at the start of a battle how much damage they do you know after a minute 10 seconds they can do you know a thousand five hundred fifty percent you know titan and six storming damage and if that if there's no en enemy omega units but if they are enemy omega units and five of them you can do Get a total boost of a thousand nine hundred twenty-five percent damage increase. That is an insane number. Like, it's huge. So, if you have your uh, corrupted stormians in there, they're going to be dishing out a ton of damage. Well, not only that, there's also uh. Some other stuff that's important. Um, oh, one thing I should point out uh, is... Gosh, now my mind's running blank. One of the important things is this is probably going to be a solo Titan. Because you have to take one troop plus those five corrupted units. So, 
I'm really excited to see if this becomes, like, really good. She could probably be fast raider, maybe. But yeah, the biggest, biggest pro, the biggest cons to getting this Titan is that Spearman and possibly Grenadiers could be her, their downfall. But other than that, you know, so far, this Titan is going to be the best so far. Until the other Dragon Slayers come out. So right now, Conquest is going on. And I just did a Conquest battle as I was talking. Should have done it sooner. Um, yeah, it's going to be really difficult because if you want to do both, like right now, I pretty much have to save everything I can at the moment to guarantee that I can finish this next event. But hopefully all this info has helped. Uh, and this video is probably not that long. So, uh... It's your choice if you want to, you know, go for this Titan or not. But remember the aura, her aura skill only buffs up to six Grenadier, or six Storm Maidens. So that's something to keep in mind. So, do you want to do this event? It's your choice. I'm definitely doing this event, that's for sure. I'm gonna enjoy that, Diane. Oh, the other big thing, I should have said this sooner. The other big thing is, she is an infiltrator Titan. I probably said that, I don't know. But anyways, so you can throw a Trickster's Blade, have her completely maxed out, and she'd be really great. Or you can throw the Night Whisper on, which is you know, gives troop damage and troop health. Now, I have only four five-star relics. A Trickster's Blade, a Night Whisperer, Dragon Slayer. So, that's why I'm going for her, because she's an Infiltrator. So I should definitely get her, because she would be getting the most out of my relics. So, all those boosts that I said about were strictly just her skills. So if you add on, you know, relics, you're going to do a lot more damage. I mean, it's not going to be as crazy as maybe like 3,000 or something, but, you know, maybe up to 2,000, 300 percent maybe? But yeah, if you, if you give, or you could just percent, or strictly build, you know, relic setup to make the troops or titan you know a lot more healthier you know able to survive better so i'm interested to see how this goes hopefully this helps and have a good day